Hello guys! Remix was created by React Router team, so routing in Remix is pretty robust. In this video, we will take a look at how to use Remix route files for different scenarios. Stick around, and at the end of the video, I will show you Remix routing visualization tool. We are in a Remix project configured with a Tailwind CSS. If you would like to learn how to configure Remix with a Tailwind CSS, please watch our Remix Tailwind CSS video. The root file in the app folder is the root layout for the entire app. All other routes will render inside the outlet. Root.tsx file works just like all other routes, so you can um, export loader, action, and etc. Let's create a couple of basic routes. All the routes go in a routes folder, so let's create underscore index.tsx file in the routes folder. We're gonna put the following code in here. Don't worry about the code too much, I'm just using some Tailwind CSS components. Underscore the index.tsx file will be the index page for the website. Uh, deleting underscore means we don't have any route part in the URL. Now in the routes folder, let's create about.tsx file. And we're gonna paste the code in here again. Finally, let's create the contact.tsx file. Let's go ahead, save all, and switch to the browser. As you can see, we have three basic pages, index, about, and contact. These pages don't have any common UI components or route parts in the URL. Now, what if we would like to have common layout? Let's go back to VS Code and create login routes. Usually, login routes have common UI component, like an image, but they don't have common URL part. They sit right at the root, like slash login or slash register. In order to create a common layout part for our authentication routes, login and register, we're going to create underscore auth.tsx file. And we're going to put the following code in there. The common layout for login and register routes will be uh, this image right here. And login and register form will be inserted in outlet. Let's go ahead and create login route in the routes folder. We're going to create a new file called underscore auth dot login dot tsx. We're going to paste the following code in there. And since it's uh, spaced out under underscore auth dot login, it will inherit the auth uh, UI. Next, let's go ahead and create a register route in the same way. It's going to be auth dot register dot tsx. And just paste some code in here as well. Again, let's go ahead and save everything and head back to the browser. Let's go ahead, click on the login link right here. And now you can see we have slash login. And if we click on sign up here, we have a slash register routes. Underscore in front of the auth makes auth part invisible in the URL. Now let's say we actually want to have a common URL part as well as common layout. Dashboard routes can be a good example of that. Let's head back to VS Code and create some dashboard routes. First, in the routes folder, let's create dashboard the TSX file where we can define shared layout for dashboard. We also didn't put underscore in front of dashboard, so dashboard can be part of the URL. Let's go ahead and put the following code in there. As with the underscore uh, TSX file, the dashboard TSX file also has outlet where dashboard pages will be inserted. Now let's create dashboard index page. The name for that file will be dashboard.underscoreindex.tsx. We used underscore in front of the index part, so word index doesn't show up in the URL. And we just simply have slash dashboard. 
Now let's create a page for dashboard slash team. The file name will be dashboard dot t dot tsx. As you may have already figured out, dots in the route file names uh, translate into slashes in the URL. Let's go ahead and save everything and head to the browser. So now if we click on get started, we're going to have dashboard page. And if we click on a team link in the header, we're going to have a team page right here. Dashboard index and team pages have a common layout component. Uh, this will be this uh, menu bar. And they also have a common URL part dashboard. Now let's see how list and a single item page translate to route file names in Remix framework. For example, we have a list of projects. When we click on one of them, we can see a single project page with more information. To make things a bit more interesting, we're going to put projects inside the dashboard. Let's head back to the VS Code and in the routes folder, we are going to create dashboard dot projects dot tsx file we will paste the following code in here this is the common file for the projects pages in our case we just return outlet where other pages will be mounted you however may also have a shared layout in this file as well now let's create an index page for the list of projects so in the file name will be dashboard dot projects dot underscore index dot tsx. I'm going to put the code in here as well. When we click view button on a project, we want to go to that project. So let's create a single project page. All right. And the file will be called dashboard dot projects dot dollar sign id dot tsx and we're going to paste the code for a single project page in our case id is a dynamic segment you create dynamic segments in remix with a dollar sign prefix remix will parse the value from the url and pass the id parameter to the loader function where we can access it on the params object. Let's head to the browser and take a look at the project pages. And as you can see, if we click on a projects link in the menu, we have projects page. If we click view button on for each project, we can see the details of that project. So far, we looked at routes that don't have common layout and don't have common URL part basic routes routes that have common layout but don't have common url part login and register routes routes that have both common layout and common url part dashboard routes now what if we want to have a common url part but we don't want to have the same layout for example we may want to have dashboard docs that doesn't have a menu bar that is shared by other dashboard pages Let's create such page in the routes folder. We're going to call it dashboard underscore dot docs dot tsx. To break the page out of the common layout, we use a trailing underscore on the dashboard. Now, if we click on a docs menu, we can see the docs page has dashboard part in its URL, but it doesn't share a common dashboard layout. We already looked at how to match a dynamic segment such as ID in the route file. Now let's look at how to dynamically match the rest of the URL. This can be useful if we need to create a custom 404 page for our dashboard. In order to do that, we need to create dashboard $.tsx file. The dollar sign will match all the URL parts except for the ones we already defined. This is essentially a dashboard catch-all route. In Remix, it is called a splat route. 
Let's paste the code for our custom dashboard 404 page. Similar to dynamic route parameters, you can access the value of the matched path on the splits route params with a asterisk key. Now, if we go to the browser and in the URL, we type something like dashboard hello world, we're going to have our custom dashboard 404 page. This page has a shared dashboard menu bar layout. In this video, we looked at most common file routing use cases and how to implement them in the Remix. In order to better understand Remix routing conventions, you can use Route Visualization tool at https remix routing demonetlifyapp So just be sure you have a version 2 demo selected. I hope you liked this video. We used Remix with a Tailwind as a base for this project. If you would like to learn how to configure Remix with a Tailwind CSS, please watch this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.